the upper rank demons look nearly unbeatable. However, the story has proven that they all have secret weaknesses. For example, Yutaro's weakness, as stated by Muzan himself, was his sister Daki, who held him back due to her antics and later became the reason for his death. Yoko, much like in his human life, was emotionally unstable, and it took just one insult from Muichiro to take him to Timbutu. Otago, on the other hand, seemed to be one of the stronger opponents, however, he revealed that even demons have energy limits, and so Hakuten and his other forms started to seep away at his energy, making him weaker. Fulmus and consistent thoughts and separation from his emotions, which Muzan considered to be a virtue as a demon, turned against him in his final fight as he nonchalantly absorbed Shinobu, which ultimately poisoned himself. And as for Akaza and Kokushibo, both of them were actually more human than we imagined, as their backstories revealed that they were just victims of their own minds and circumstances. By the way, if you were given the opportunity to slap any character in Demon Slayer, who would you choose and why?